Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I'm going to create a love sigil. You can create a sigil to bring love into your life or to create more self-love. Let's do some magical crafting. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I have worksheets for several sigil creation methods. If you'd like to download PDFs of these sigil worksheets, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I'll continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I'm creating a sigil to draw love. I write out my intent. I draw love in. This is a positive and immediate statement. I avoid negative words in my intent, and I always state my intent in the present tense, as though it's already happening, not something that will happen in the future. I cross out all of the vowels, leaving only the consonants. These are the manifesting sounds. This leaves me with D R W L V N. If you have duplicate consonants, you can just use one in your sigil. I begin with the letters V and W. I create a heart shape with the W on top of the V and upside down. A heart shape is the perfect way to begin a love sigil. Next, I add the letter D sideways and pointing down. Next is the letter R. I place it on the top right using the loop of the W. I place the L to the right on the bottom side and the letter N to the left using the letter V for part of the letter N. The next step is to work on the sigil to make it more artistic. I like to make my sigil symmetrical and add extra lines. I also like to make my shapes a little more rounded. You can create a sigil in any way that feels best to you. Straight lines or curved, all one shape or several different interlocking shapes. Use your intuition and keep working until you get a sigil that speaks to your heart. Everyone's sigils will come out looking different. This is what makes them unique to each individual. When I trace out the sigil, I vary the line positions so that it feels more symmetrical. That's just a personal preference of mine. Everyone's sigils will be unique as each person uses their intuition and personal style to create them. What gives sigils their power is the energy and intention behind them. Your intention and will is what causes them to blossom into manifestation. The symbolic nature of a sigil also helps bypass the rational and skeptical part of your brain and allows the symbol to enter the unconscious where possibilities are endless. However, sigils are not a replacement for action. You must still do the work to make your desires a reality. One way to use a sigil is to draw it on a piece of paper or create artwork out of it and keep it in your home to remind you of your intent on a daily basis or on your altar to visualize and work on your intent while you're there. This is a permanent or semi-permanent sigil. A second way to use a sigil is to draw it on a piece of paper and charge it with energy and burn it to ignite the intention or carve it onto a candle and allow it to burn down to release the intent into the universe to work for you. This is a consumable sigil as it's consumed and released. This sigil will be used in a love spell on a talisman or mojo bag 
My intention is to embroider it onto a piece of fabric and add rose floral elements. And so I'm working on this sigil through several steps, changing the line directions, adding some embellishments, while staying true to the original shapes and letters. And here's the final sigil. If you'd like to see how I incorporate it into a love spell and amulet, I'll link to that video below. I hope you've gained some inspiration on how to make your own love sigil. Or feel free to use the one I've created in any of your magical workings if you'd like to. <laughs>